Hey, hey, hey. So he had me to come back again. Um, and the word is coming from Isaiah 40. <laughs> and mahogany says, hey, y'all. Hi, y'all. <laughs> okay, baby, you got to sit down if you're going to be in here. Mm. You got to sit down. Wipe your face. Wipe right there. Thank you. Okay, you all. So um, I'm going to start reading, and I'm going to allow the Lord to lead me um, in what he wants me to say. But I can definitely, before I get started, inform you all. Sit down, baby. Inform you all that this is certainly a time for you to be comforted and to know and believe that God is surely bringing his desires into your life today. So um, it says comfort. Comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed and that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. So when I read this, I feel that God is saying that, you know, some of the hardships that we have been going through by being in sin for so long and um it took us like a while some of us to wake up out of the train of thought that we once had and to know that we could actually be forgiven and to know that God was with us but it was some things that he needed uh, to get our attention on so that when it came time for us to move in the in the ways that he needed us to move we would be able to flow how he needed us to flow so um the next verse, which is verse 3, says, A voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. It says, Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level and the rugged place is plain. So when I read that, what comes to mind is that people, us, some of us who have been behind mahogany. No, stop it. The last of us, the people who have been last for so very long are going to begin to be going forth. First, you know, you're getting ready to be actually leading. You're getting ready to actually be, you know, to a point in your life where God can actually trust you for the, the leadership assignments that has been placed over your life. Finally, is now that time. So the last is becoming now to be first. Amen. And the first is now becoming to be last. Amen. Okay. Awesome. 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 Um, and I just feel so good when I talk about that because, man, it's going to cease. Ugh, I've seen so many people who have been just discouraged and tore down and feeling like God had forgotten about them, but he hasn't forgotten about you. God says comfort. He's telling me to speak comfort to you now. Everything is going to be well. You're coming out of that place of hurt and discouragement and depression. No longer will the enemy be able to get in your mind and have you thinking thoughts that God didn't say. You know, this is your time. You've been through enough. You received double for all of the, the sins that you've done. He's He punished you double. Some of you all who have been in those hard places for a long time because you couldn't see the sin, the things that you were doing, you know, the, the, the things that caused you to be stuck, certain people you allowed around and, and things of that nature. You coming out now, okay? Um... And that's what he meant when he said, you know, a voice in verse three, where it says a voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord. And that brings me back to that dream I had about those tornadoes. If you all could have seen how it was like the houses were kind of close together, they might have been, you know, where it was big and it was the tornado was big. And in my dream, like, it passed in between the houses. And it's like, I don't even know how it did that without touching the houses, you know? So that that's what I keep seeing and envisioning. Because I, um, in my dream, it didn't touch and it didn't destroy anything. It's like they were going through and they were making 
straight, like like a cleanse almost, like cleansing the way for the Lord's hand to pass through the tornadoes I saw in my dream. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. So, yeah, that's what I hear for that. And then, um, and the glory of the Lord, picking up at verse 5, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all mankind together will see it, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. So, the hand of the Lord is getting ready to be revealed in your life. You know, especially for people who have had, like, crazy faith so crazy to a point to where people who surrounded you didn't understand the, the 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 passion and the greatness that God had placed within you and when you begin to speak on things that God told you people will begin to look at you like you crazy or you lost your mind or God wouldn't speak that to you God wouldn't do that for you look at you you did this you did that people who have been speaking things even in the in behind your back when you didn't know but some people these days are bold enough to speak it to your face. But those same people are going to have to come back and eat those words. God says comfort you. And I speak comfort over you today. And know that anything that anybody speaks up against you, God has the final say. And he will be the one to get the last word against every matter that concerns you. Get to a point right now to where you, you close your mouth. Don't worry about what people are saying. Silence yourself in the midst of the enemy and watch and see the salvation of God coming through to make a way for you when man has said that there was no way. They didn't know that God was surrounding you, glorifying you in this hour. You went through depression. You went through discouragement. You went through times where you felt like nobody heard and nobody cared. But God has been there all along. Lift up your head. And clap your hands because you're coming out. No more drowsiness. No more sorrow. No more sorrow. No more sorrow. It's okay. Dry your eyes. Because God sees and he knows. And he heard you when nobody else thought that he, anybody would care. God heard you. <clears throat> See, y'all, I've been crying out to God for a place mahogany. Shut my door. Do y'all see how like the spirit of God just be hitting me out of nowhere? Like I'm reading the word and then it just hit. And then the devil always got to bring in distraction. You see that? Like it can't flow in the way it needs to flow. And I'm telling you, I felt the power of God. I don't know who you are and who my father is speaking to today. But you lift up your head. God is making a way where there seems to be none. And no matter what the enemy says, you shall prosper. I'm going to have to end it there, y'all. I'm going to come back and do this the way that I felt that this thing needed to flow you all. You know, it's just, and it's not a good time. I've been crying out to God for a place where I can go in my house or wherever. You know, to be able to talk and say what he needs me to say, you all. Y'all pray for me, please. I'm going to come back on this. I promise, y'all. I promise.